God bless you, Facebook family and friends. Happy Tuesday evening to you. I trust that the blessings of the Lord has just been shining in your life since we were together last Tuesday. I'm just grateful. December is the time of the year when I just kind of pause and just reflect over all that's happened during the year and in the, in the midst of everything that's happened, especially this year, just reflecting on the greatness of God and the goodness of God. And so on tonight, the transforming message that I want to share with you that God has just been impressing upon my heart all week is let's just praise the Lord. Let's just praise the Lord. Uh, I think about situations and then how they could even be worse than what they are. Let's just praise the Lord. God is so good. Um, I'm just thinking about uh, times in the past when I thought I really was giving God a praise because I was trying to follow a particular tradition or form of worship, but recognizing that it's when your back is up against the wall and you don't know exactly what to do next, what to expect sometimes, dealing with situations, sometimes not always knowing who you can talk to, who you can trust, um, and not even about really trusting somebody, but just sometimes you don't really want to bother somebody else. You want to be a strength to others, and so when you're not feeling that yourself, you're like, I'll just carry all this on my own. And so, uh, as we just look at this year, not even looking past um, this year, but just looking at this year only, if we just look at it with our physical eye, we won't have the strength to give God praise. So tonight, I want to encourage you to let your strength and your focus and your energy, and yes, it can take all of that just to give God praise. Just to give God the praise that is due His name. And so, uh, a lot of times, situations would try to tie us up emotionally on the inside, and they can become overwhelming. And even make us feel like there's not even a reason to give God praise. You know, uh, and almost want to make us feel ridiculous. How can I praise him with what's going on? How can I praise him with what's being said about me? How can I praise him when I'm feeling uh, troubled about certain things? Oh, but the power to give God praise. In the middle of situations that don't seem to be working in your favor. There's a scripture uh, in Psalms that says, Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. So when you just think about the fact that regardless to what I'm going through, I still have the breath of life. For this, Lord, I give you praise. And that alone will allow you to start feeling a release from whatever is burdening you and having you feeling heavy. You start there with that one praise. Lord, I thank you for the breath of life. And it will allow your spirit inwardly to start feeling lighter and freer to praise God for other blessings he's given you. My prayer for you is that you thrive and survive. I'm praising God for us sharing this five minutes together and praising God in faith that God is going to bless you, bless us all with his favor, his love, and his blessings as he transforms us by the power of his word.
God bless you, Facebook family. Let's just praise the Lord. Don't stop lifting them up. Let's praise the Lord. 